2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and this player starts their round in the lead. How should they approach today? Well, they've they've got the lead and there is a significant chasing pack so they can't get too wrapped up in what's going on behind them they've got to kind of keep their nose out front they got to keep pushing along and play the golf course don't think about who's chasing you down just think about playing the golf course but if you do find themselves falling back a little bit, then they need to go ahead and start making a, a little bit different push, maybe come up with a different game plan. But right now, out in front, they just kind of have to play the golf course right now and, and keep that in their sights. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Good shot there, Beamer. This shot from 120 yards. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Well, that's delightful. A birdie to get the round underway. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So yes, birdie on the first, great job. He sits in first position. This hole is a par three. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Ouch, that hurts. And that should secure the par on this one. Currently in first position. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side you obviously want no part of. But if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or put it in the water. Well, that's a handy shot. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. Little birdie look in here. Well played. He's currently sitting in first place. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. We've arrived at a par five. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side. That shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Time for the second shot here at the fourth.
good play there, Rich. I like it a lot. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? How about that, Luke? Chip it in for the eagle. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh, yeah, look at those hands. What a chip shot. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Here we have it, trying to feed off the eagle and build on that momentum here. That's heading for the fairway. Second shot here on the fifth. Eleven feet to the cup. Looking good. That's making a big statement here today. Fantastic start right out of the gates. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Already in first place, trying to make that margin larger. That's tidy. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. I know it hasn't come up exactly how they imagine in their mind, Rich, but you've got to like that play. Bit too much club there, wasn't it? And here we are with the third shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Judging it beautifully. Leading by six strokes after that one. We have a par three on this one. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six, five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. Outstanding shot, high quality. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. An opportunity for a birdie here. Mark it down, that's birdie number five.
and just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera is pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. And Henny, what's he looking at here? And from around 135 yards... You love watching people play the game when it's like this. It looks so easy. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. I like the look of this. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. This is full send. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, that's well played and a chance for birdie here at the ninth. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Hey, nice looking line. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Players have looked at this hole differently over the years. It used to be just a layup, shy of that bunker down the right-hand side. But with a favorable win, we're seeing a lot more players take out driver and take it over that bunker, leaving a very short second to a green that is slightly elevated. Oh, that was pure. Second shot here at the 10th. Should find the green. Wow, what a shot. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. And that's eight birdies today. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And now teeing off on this par four hole. In good form, birdie at the last, looking to add on to that. Nicely done. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? He's got around 100 yards here. Going with the pitching wedge here. Good sounding strike, that one. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. This one's for birdie. And that puddle drop. Well done. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum.
Yeah, that one will play. Second shot here on the 12th. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. This one's looking good. That's a great punch to make, especially for an eagle. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. This hole here is a par four. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Yeah. High quality shot, that one, right next to the hole. Phenomenal shot, kick in birdie, well done. Well, this player's mighty fine. Their lead is now nine after that performance. for the five iron this looks to be heading to the green yeah, well played made birdie on the last looking for a second in a row here 12 feet to the cup coming up this for a birdie birdie run And with that part hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Kind of like it. He's feeling it. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Strong par four. Your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. That makes its way to the first cut. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, come on, sit. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Now, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Right by the hole. No, that's too bad. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This is what they have left for a par. Yeah, we'll take that. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. And after that part, they're looking for something good here.
Uh, great shot. Rich, good chance to get this green in two. Yes, this player's found the fairway, and now they've got the opportunity to knock this on in two. Be wary of coming up short and left, obviously, in the water, but don't be anxious to miss it out to the right, especially in that bunker that's over in the middle of the green on the right-hand side. That really can wreak havoc with the players. Try and find the green at all costs with this second shot. What's in front of them, Henny? It's 13 feet out. Unlucky for some. It's going to. Wonderful shot. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight shot advantage. On the tee of a par three. This hole causes more stress for the players I think than any other hole in the golf course with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. This putt coming up is for birdie. play now eight shots in front here we go rich we're at the lucky last teeing off the 18th hole it does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where you can't see the golf balls land, so players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right or even out on the left-hand side. Most iconic moments in all of golf, in my mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot here back in 1990 to claim the title. That's some good golf right there. And Henny? What are you seeing down there? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Oh, that thing was like a tracer bullet. Right down the pipe. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. And with that putt, concludes this player's round.